Hey, take a look at this. About right here, kind of where my thigh is at. So it's about 32 to 34 inches of rainwater in this about 26 foot diameter rain tank. Give or take, that's about 10,000 gallons of water that I've been drinking um, with little filtration. Now, obviously take your time uh, with your filtration efforts and make sure that, you know, things are safe, right? Do testing if you need to. Um, where we're at, the rainwater is going to be really good. So let, let's turn this around. Let's look at the system to, to give us water. So this is just a real simple first flush off this really small roof, 12 by 24 metal roof. The dirty water goes down the little pipe and, you know, I've got basically spigots on the end of that. So the dirty water goes down, the clean water goes in, and then this is the little pumping station. Now look, this pumping station is temporary and it's portable um, if I need to. I didn't PVC everything in. So let's take a look. It starts with the mains. All right, so this is off. On. So an installation of this tank, this comes with it. Anything after that is installed uh, on site. So basically there's a two inch pipe that goes down and then goes into this box. And you can see it here. So this is the um, two inch pipe and that can drain everything out if I need to. Um, and you can see here it also comes up right here and then it goes first into this filter. So it was filtered with the first flush system over there first and then filtered with this spin down filter. And there is a, um, it's going to be difficult to see here. This is a valve that it will release all the water in there, but it's a 50 micron spin down filter. Anything big in there, it's going to take out, and then the water moves to this pump. So this piece is about 45 bucks, and it's a nice piece. You can get it online. Uh, 50 micron spin down filter, uh, sediment filter. And this is a 50 PSI. I'm, I'm running 12 volts. So these wires here, they go back to a battery. And this is a 12 volt system. That battery's charged with solar. Um, this is about $70. <clears throat> it's 50 PSI. I think it's two, yeah, it's 2.9 gallons. And it's a 12 volt, uh, 2.9 gallons per minute, I believe. And it works great, actually. Take a look. Uh, so this system, right, I have that one, which where that's how I fill my water bottle. But then this is also open, if you listen. That just pressurized this standard water hose. Now let's take a gander down here where the water hose is going. And where this comes is sink. And you can kind of hear the pump in the background. And it comes up and that one water hose wise off to also outdoor shower. There we go. Gotta unhook it. It's a heated shower. Uh, we'll stand back. So there's a hot water heater fired by the propane. You might have heard it click. 
there's a shower in its entirety. And here's the inside. So all of this is real low tech and portable and temporary. Students ask me all the time, uh, people in transition ask me all the time, how do you pressurize your water without a pressure tank, very low cost. This isn't the only method, this is one method and I could recommend it. Um, I'll try to put some links on to what those are and where you can get them online. I think I got the filter on Amazon and the pump, I think I got it Home Depot. So, hey guys, we'll see you next time. Bless you in the name of Jesus.